I will take you through a virtual tour of the Decayan Mine, which is in the southwest of Ghana. We have six pits, three of which have been mined out and be by filled with three active pits. This includes Fetish, which is a pushback with a surface area of about 32 hectares. We are using the mine out areas as big sums to supplement the watering, ensuring that we dewater ahead of mining. Mining is carried out with two PC-1250 excavators, which are matched with Komatsu 100 ton trucks. The next is Bukiti Pit, which was commenced in January 2019, and we are in the last phase of mining, planned to be completed by October this year. Mining is with two Cat 375 excavators, matched with 30 ton articulated dump trucks. The fleet was selected based on the ground conditions and the size of the ramps. The next is the AG pit, which is also a pushback pit with the mined out areas used as sums and devoted ahead of mining. Mining in this pit is carried out using two PC-2000 excavators, also matched with Komachu 100 ton trucks. All from all the pits is hauled to the wrong part. The wrong part currently stocks about 3 million metric tons of oil to supplement the crusher feed from the pit. The crusher reduces the size to minus 125 mm to the crush oil stopper with a buffer capacity of 150,000 tons. Oil is fed from the course through a conveyor to the 40 megawatt megawatt sag mill, which grinds to minus 212 microns. The sag mill product goes through a stack of cyclones with the overflow going to the flotation circuit and the underflow to the gravity circuit. The scars from the sag mill is reduced to minus 12 mm size by a pebble crusher that runs in closed circuit with a sag mill. The overflow from the cyclones go to the flotation circuit. The float concentrate goes to the red grind mill, which grinds to minus 45 microns to feed the CIL circuit. The flotation tails are discharged into the FTSF with a surface area of 343 hectares, while tails from the CIL goes to a 15 hectare CTSF. We have the Gensa 33 megawatt capacity gas generating plant under construction. This will be a standalone plant which will eliminate power dips that we experience from the grid power presently. It is expected to be completed by the end of the year. This is a campsite that holds the management and senior employees of the mine. The camp is fully equipped with recreational facilities, kitchen and laundry facilities, and the camp has a capacity of 140 rooms. As a mine, we believe in progressive rehabilitation. We therefore progressively control the wisdoms and cover them with latrite and topsoil before vegetating from our dedicated nursery on site. The resettlement site was required to enable us to mine the Esuja North and Fetish pits. The first phase was about 30 million US dollars, and we are about to finish the second phase for the Esuja South resettlement. Persis is actively exploring a number of high priority targets within its 420km Edikan tenement package. This includes the Bremen granite hosted prospect on the Ajakusi prospecting license located just 12 kilometers north of the Etican mill. 
The Mampong South Prospect is located around 5 kilometres southwest of Verdankan Mill and lies on the same intrusive granite trend hosting the AG Gap and Fabinso deposits. At Huntado South, further to the southwest of the Mampong trend, uh, recent drilling has returned intercepts up to 3 metres at 63 grams per tonne.